My school, Elon University, has a chair problem. Did you see that chair? I love chairs. I became aware of my school's chair problem when, one morning, I found myself sitting in a particularly uncomfortable chair. The situation went a little like this. Oh man, this chair is awesome. Look how awesome it looks. I'm gonna sit in it. Good idea. Oh, yeah. Eh. What? What's wrong? This is the most uncomfortable chair I've ever sat in. Some of the chairs at Elon are just plain awful, like the one I was sitting in that morning. But before we come to any premature conclusions, let's look at the chairs. There are three main types of chairs at Elon. There are the good ones, the bad ones, and the terrible ones. The problem is not only the existence of these uncomfortable chairs, it is the distribution of these chairs. The distribution is not uniform or random, it is clumped. And that clump is at the McMichael Science Center. These chairs right here are the worst chairs that you have. The problem is this thing does not lock in place. It goes back like this. And what makes things worse is this knob is on about half of them. But the other half, the knob has come off over time and they're stuck even further back. Like, look at that angle. How can you sit in that? This is terrible. Maybe we're just not sitting in it right. Mm. Mm. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, baby. <laughs> it's just not comfortable, man. So because a lot of these knobs have broken and fallen off over time, Elon has actually started screwing in <laughs> screwing in replacements. Like look at this beautiful one. And this like a uh, little bit more fancy one over here. So just goes to show that they're aware that these chairs are all falling apart. But they're just kind of throwing a bandage on the larger issue. I almost forgot to mention, these chairs are extremely old. They're manufactured February 7th, 1998. These chairs are older than me. They're of legal drinking age. In addition to these terrible chairs, there are loose cords everywhere. This is my exit from the building on a daily basis. Almost tripped. Almost tripped. Almost tripped twice. These are bad chairs. They're not terrible, but they're bad. They're, they have this like spring loaded system on either side. It's like. You have to put like 50 pounds of pressure for this thing to bend back. So basically what happens in this chair is if you're trying to lean on the back of it for some support, like chairs should provide, you are gonna feel like the back of it is pushing you forward. It's like a war between your back and the back of this chair. So these chairs are also pretty old. Um, it says here that they were made in 2006.
So these are the good chairs, and um, you see these all over the university in a lot of classrooms. Um, but in McMichael, there's only one room with these chairs, this room, and it's not even a classroom, it's like a study room. It's a, I think it's called the McMichael Library, even though there's no books in here. But anyway, um, this, I mean, it's good because it gives you support, it doesn't bend, it's like a sturdy, normal chair with a little cushion. You know, it's, it's decent. So, as you might guess, um, these good chairs are much newer than the other two types of chairs. These ones were made in 2016. Okay, so now that you've seen the types of chairs, I can explain the distribution problem. Most classrooms across campus are filled with good chairs. Some of them have bad chairs. But in McMichael, with the exception of one study room, there are no good chairs. It only has bad and terrible chairs to fill its classrooms and labs. In fact, it is the only building on campus with these terrible chairs. This is a problem because science majors at Elon spend a lot of time in these classrooms and labs. In fact, they spend an estimated 52 days of class in McMichael. I'm just wondering, have you ever noticed the disparity in these two chairs? Your chair is so much better than this one. This is not a comfortable chair at all. Did, did, did you buy these chairs? Yes, I, I bought both of them. You picked out both I picked of them? I picked them out, yeah. What was going through your head when you picked out this chair? You picked out a great chair for yourself. That's a gorgeous chair. I would have that in my house. But this one, it's not comfortable. I'm constantly shifting from side to side. You have the comfortable chair. You have taken the good chair. Here's what I'm proposing. I think you should go chair shopping. I think you need another chair. And you know what else? I'm willing to go chair shopping with you. So, as Larry David explained, Elon, I think you need to go chair shopping. Your science building, McMichael, needs some new chairs, and hopefully some made after 1998. And to the Elon brass, the people with the real power around here, I say this. Clearly chairs are your most important issue here, and not your lack of diversity, or abundance of non-tenure track professors, or the objective fact that we need more brick buildings. So whenever you get the chance, Go to some classrooms around campus, visit the communications school and the business school, and look around at the beautiful classrooms and sit in the comfortable chairs. Then head on over to McMichael and take a look around. Maybe sit in some of these chairs I've been talking about. And tell me if you would want to spend 52 days either in a battle with your chair or sitting like this. Name something you sit in. Chair. Try again. Big chair. No, that's the same thing. Try again. High chair. That's still a chair. Chair. Say something other than chair. What if I can't think of anything? You can pass. How do I pass? Just say it. Say what? Say pass. Chair. 